Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today, we're gonna go over the process of how to winterize your tankless water heater on your RV. With tankless water heaters becoming more popular on RVs, uh, we've been getting a lot of questions of how do I winterize it and is it a different process than a traditional water heater? And it is. You may think that because it doesn't have a tank that there's no water in it to freeze during the winter, but the truth is is that most tankless water heaters in an RV can hold up to one liter of water, which will cause big problems if you get into freezing temperatures. So um, when we're going through this process, you do want to be sure to check in your RV's owner's manual to um, check on the water heater to see if this process is okay to do for your water heater. But with that being said, let's get to it. The first step in our process is we're going to need to install our blow plug. And if you don't have one of these, um, you can find them on our website. But it has a Schrader valve on it, but it connects to the outside um, inlet for your water, your city water. So we'll connect that up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pump air in here, but you wanna make sure a valve is open one at a time while you're putting air in. So you don't wanna charge the system with all the valves closed. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So we're gonna turn our faucet on hot and turn it on. Now with our valve open, we need to put about 30 PSI through the system to push all that water out. How you can get that 30 PSI is you either need to use a, a gauge like we are here or set your regulator on your compressor to 30 PSI just to be safe for your pipes. Now that we've done the kitchen, we can go ahead and do all the other hot water sides of our accessories um, that use water. Um, but you also want to do the cold water while you're doing this whole process. Now typically you can stop at this point, but what a lot of people have seen is some residual water in the pipes will run back down in the system and run into the RV water heater. So um, what we recommend doing is running some antifreeze, RV antifreeze through your whole system, just so you know you're more than safe. Now the difference with a tankless RV water heater and a traditional RV water heater is that typically you're probably used to bypassing the water heater because you don't want to put 10 gallons of antifreeze through. With a tankless water heater, you're going to want to run the antifreeze through the water heater itself. And once you've run antifreeze through all your faucets inside, you're ready for winter. The only thing you're going to have to do when it comes to dewinterizing your camper is hook up your water and turn everything on and that'll get all the antifreeze out of your system and you'll be ready for the next season. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.